I'm David Ditch. On a short BBC News special, we're going to be taking a look back at lockdown and how the world coped with it all. And for anybody who cares, the reason the usual host isn't hosting this, because I'm the only who can be I'm the only one who could be bothered enough to do it. And since he's still dealing with the so-called trauma of his divorce. Frick. First off, we're taking a look a look at uh, the government, how the government dealt with the whole thing. In some newly found footage, we see Boris Johnson, Chris Whitty, and Matt Hancock discussing what f <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe if we hadn't had that party last night and gotten so drunk and high, we might have something to address the public with. I don't know where to drink anyway. He's in the closet, sir. He's gay. No, he's with that chick from last night. Oh, yeah, sorry. I hope you remember that. Anyway, there's something to it. Well, what should we write for his segment? Uh, uh, write, write some statistics or something. Oh, please, the public. What if the NHS tried to put the statistics wrong? Um, try and move up a pay rise or something. Uh, anyway, when do we need to go out? Five minutes. Uh, oh, lovely. We'll be out in no time. No, I mean five minutes ago. We're late, Boris. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, hang up! We unfortunately saw the return to our screens of the Harry Potter franchise. Unfortunately, in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Boy who lives has come to die. I'm biting about to fight Voldemort in about 10 minutes. Uh, he should be here soon. It'd be a shame if he was right behind me, but you know, this fight's going to be sick. I haven't fought him in about two years since the end of Deathly Hallows Part 2. Your time has come, Harry Potter. Your time has come, Harry Potter. Your time has come, Harry Potter. I am your father. Oh, wrong film. Okay. Come forth, my boy. I want to fight you. Well, that fight just happened. I had no idea what that was about. What a waste of time. He literally just walked off. I was standing on the other side of the field. He pointed one at me. I couldn't even make out anything he was saying. Quiet, quiet. Why did he just walk off? I'm Harry Potter, he's Voldemort, we've been enemies for years, he killed my parents, the least he could do is face me. Twat. Yes, what a lovely lockdown reunion. Anyway, on to the lockdown version of Come Dine With Me, Come Die With Me. Personally, that show makes me want to die. So, hello, for tonight's dish we will be having some bread, which is white. With just brown crust, and um, also for drink, we will be having some ribena, black currant, and he's here. Hello, you what? On my face, man. Get on my face. Isn't this scrumptious bread? Very lovely. There you go, lad. Thanks, Dad. <coughs> <coughs> this is a smashing drink. Right then, I'm off. Yeah, of course, you know. The food was nice, it was a very nice, wonderful evening. However, everyone seemed to be dead at the end. And right now, uh, there's no taxis to get me home because of COVID. And I need to go all the way to Peckham. So, yeah. All in all, the night, I would say, 
six out of ten. It was a what? It was a good night. However, the food was dead, and the drink, well, it was Ribena, but without the water. So, anyway, gotta go back home. Get that camera on my face, fam. Oh yeah, chef, you up. Well, as you can clearly see, the TV and film industry has been affected by lockdown greatly. Anyway, let's see how Boris Johnson and uh, lockdown has affected the people of Nottingham. Hi, sir. Um, what are your thoughts on Boris Johnson? He's a twerk. Not, no, can't say I'm surprised. Hi, sir. Would you mind saying a few words about Boris Johnson for me? Well, on one hand, he's had a party, ain't he? But on the other hand, the government gave me free money and shit, so it's all good. I mean, I'm a... All right. All right, come on. So, uh, uh, would you mind summing up Boris Johnson in a sentence for me? Oh, Boris Johnson, I was a bit of a touch for him. I was back in there and... You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? In a word? Twat. In a sign. Right. Okay. Right, so we're here with uh, Archibald, Lord of Snenton Market, and I'm here with my crew in it. Right, so how has the pandemic affected you? Well, indubitably, me and my gang and my mandem have had quite a bit of an issue dealing guts to our customers. So we've had to switch to an inconvenient delivery type service just so we can fit our needs during the pandemic. Right. So if you could explain the science behind the virus for me. Well, I personally can't, but just wait one second. Coxie! Oh, kill me now. What is it? Oh, hello there. <clears throat> Could you explain the science behind the pandemic for me? So you see, the coronavirus, right, it's linked to the stars because of the particles and the atoms and these particles. Yeah, right, right. interesting Do stuff. You not want to hear me? Think yeah, I've so, got a lot to say. yeah. We're on, uh, we're going to talk about the NHS next. People who haven't been sat on their asses for their whole lockdown. Anyway. Right, so it might seem like a bit of an obvious question, but uh, how has the uh, force coped during the pandemic, and uh, what if you had to, I don't know, change during the pandemic? Well, I mean, thanks for the question. I mean, we've been at wit's end here during the pandemic, and, I mean, one, an obvious one, in fact, that springs to mind is the fact that... Um, so many people, unfortunately, were dying during the pandemic. Um, so we had to change the CPR uh, song from Staying Alive, uh, mainly just for the fact because we thought it was just too insensitive. So we changed it to uh, Knocking on Heaven's Door instead. Right. Anyway, we've seen shows like Britain's Got Talent change in the pandemic. Wow. As you can tell by the audience, that act was splendid. I loved the scream and I loved like the tone on the vocals and everything, the high pitches he could reach. I've got to give it the golden buzzer. He's straight through the semi finals. So that was an easy paycheck. Anyway, I've been David Ditch. Bye.